Hi everybody, welcome back to the table. Uh, yesterday's video was kind of an introduction type video. Um, today we are going straight into the painting. So uh, today I'm attempting something I've actually never done before. Um, seen many, many vari variations on YouTube and all that. So we're gonna do an ocean theme um, with a beach and some crashing waves. So as you see, we have the ocean colors here. We've got our, I don't know if you can see these, our um, beach ocean or beach colors here. And then we have our wave colors. So I did pre-mix all of this paint um, just because it takes so long to do it. If you want to see me mix paint, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. Um, so with today's, we have actually five different colors for the ocean. Um, we are going to put some of the sea foam in um, just so we can kind of tie it all together. The colors that we're using today uh, for the ocean portion is going to be Anita's Acrylic Deep Denim, Anita's Acrylic Morning Blue, Anita's Acrylic Midnight Blue, and then our Dazzling Metallic Teal from Deco Art. For the beach, we are using uh, Deco Art's Dazzling Metallic Splendid Gold, Americana Honey Brown, Craft Smart Tan, and Deco Art Americana Desert Sand. Um, we also, of course, are going to have a basic white for um, the waves. And then also to kind of incorporate into the ocean as well as the waves, we're going to use Craft Smart Metallic Sea Mist Pearl. Um, some of these paints do have metallics in them. Some of them don't. For the ones that don't, I actually wanted to have a lot of kind of shine to this one. I'm not a huge glitter person, but I do like the metallic look. So um, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I get all of my paints from Hobby Lobby or Michael's depending on who has the sale. And um, I have this. I really, really like it. Um, it's just a Pearl EX Maxro Pearl. And I always get the silver white one because you can pretty much put it into it, to any color and it's not going to change your color. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. It has a very, very nice sheen shine to it. Um, now it's floating around in the air. But that's what I put in, just a little scoop into each one. And it's going to make each one a metallic paint, so you don't have to spend the extra money. Um, there are certain metallics that I do always get, like this teal one, just because I love that color. So those are the paints. Again, I get them all at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Um, so all of the paints are mixed with Floetrol. Paint and water. There is no alcohol. There is no silicone. I am going to get some cells because I used water, but I'm not going to get a whole bunch of cells. And that's kind of what I want. So what we're going to attempt today, it's going to be a, um, I think I'm going to do a four cup. I was going to do a three, but I'm going to do a four cup dirty pour flip um, on about 75% of the canvas. Um, we are of course going to use some white to kind of do a separation. And then I'm going to do a two cup dirty pour flip for the beach, um, I am going to have extra paint. I did make a lot of paint. After this is done, I'm just going to use the excess paint to make one big, massive dirty pour. Um, that dirty pour I'm actually hoping to do on a two-piece. So i um, going to do them together and then separate them so you have two different ones. Okay, so let's get to mixing. My canvas is prepped. I did paint it white to make sure that there's going to be full coverage. It is half inch, just MDF board. Okay. I took out the Lazy Susan today. Uh, we kind of had a Lazy Susan mishap uh, this morning. I tried to do one real quick before I went to work. One worked, one didn't. The Lazy Susan kind of tipped and paint went everywhere. So um, we're kind of not using the Lazy Susan today until we get it leveled. So we're going to go ahead and pour the ocean one. Let me make sure that y'all can see this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour the ocean. Um, it's gonna kind of be random. I want the ocean to, to really just have a, a nice flow to it.
Oh, well, looks like that's going to be the ocean side. So we're just going to flip this around. Okay, now that accident is fixed. I think I have a fly buzzing around in here somewhere and it's about to drive me nuts. Looks like I've got some clumps that are formed in the flow trawl. I have to pay attention to where those land so I can get them out before they mess up any of the flow. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of this sea foam just so we can make sure we tie in the crashing waves to the ocean itself and it's not a massive, massive separation. Okay, so I've seen some people that do their, their, their flips. They'll do them on another piece and then slide them on or they'll do the whole entire canvas and flip it. I, I don't mind. Um, I like a little bit of a mess. So we're going to go ahead and flip these so they can go ahead and settle and get everything in there and then we're going to do the um, the beach. So we're going to kind of do one up high. We're going to do one over here because almost all of this is going to be, it's only this part that's really going to be the beach. Um, so we're going to do one here, one here, one here, and then one down in here. We are probably going to have a lot of runoff because I don't want it all coming down here. So we're just going to flip and sometimes we're going to I actually don't mind that. Um, I actually like it when they do that. Okay, so we're gonna let those set and then we're gonna get our two cup beach dirty pour set. Oh, there's a big clump in that one. We're gonna get that out before we mix the rest of the paint into it. This last batch of flow troll that I got from Home Depot was, had a lot of clumps in it. So I really didn't know what colors to use for the beach. So I asked my husband to come in here and kind of give me his opinion. And he just kind of looked at me. He's like, uh, you lived on the beach because I lived on the beach a lot of my life when I was in the Coast Guard and living in Alaska. And, um, and so he wasn't very helpful. And I said, okay, I'm going to use these colors. And he said, okay, sure. I was like, thanks for the help, babe. So... I think that will work. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of do a separation line. I'm not going to do a thick one because I don't want the paint to mix in. But um, I want to know visually where my, my line is for my paint. So we're going to go ahead and get this stuff moved out of the way. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pull. Dogs are having a fetish with barking today. Uh, the next door neighbor has a motorcycle and our big guy Kiba is not a huge fan. So I don't know if you can hear him whining in the background back there. Kind of hold the 
these cups a little bit and move it just slightly. But not a whole, whole lot. Okay, see what kind of a mess we can make. That side right there. All right. Let's go ahead and pull back just a little bit. Okay. Check our corners and our sides before we move into the rest. Um, so, some of the tools of my trade are tweezers, an X-Acto knife, um, a little mini spatula, plastic one, and then a couple of big ones. So depending on what you're doing, they're really nice to have. So we're gonna get out some of these clumps that have shown up. You know, technically, I could just leave this the way it's at. I really, really like it, but um, I'm the kind of person that once I get something in my mind, I have to complete it. So um, I'm not going to alter course. I'm just going to keep going. I use my computer screen to look on the other side to make sure my side is good. Okay. Okay, looks like all sides are good. I don't want any debris. Oh, there's one up there. It's out of the way. Okay. I don't know if I can hear my very, very pathetic dog out there. Um, okay. So we've got this part done. Now it's kind of time to get to the part that's either gonna make it or break it. So what we're gonna do is, oh, actually, I forgot. To make things a little bit easier, I put my white and my seafoam green into little squirt bottles. So there's not gonna be any accidents. So that way I can get it exactly where I want it. Okay, so we are going to get out the air gun. And see what we can do with the waves. 
go and grab it real quick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and just create waves, just crashing waves going out and going in. So we are going to do um, an airbrush blow this direction, and we're going to also do one this direction. Here's where I miss my lazy Susan. That's okay. Try and bring it down just a little bit. Breaks up that separation that we had. Just remember when you're tilting your canvas, you have to watch every, every angle of all of it. I wish I would have thinned out the white just a little bit more. Nothing I can do about it now.
Okay, touching up the corners where I grabbed it. And that's it. Just a few more little tilts just to break everything up. Don't know if I'm 100% happy with it. Um, but right now, there's not much I can do. I'm just not happy with this, this little section right here. Um, see if I can push some of that white back up. section to drip off just a little bit without losing too much there I'm going to bed okay I am so sorry I completely forgot Sorry about that. Husband forgot I was recording and just walked right into my office. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think we are going to be done with it. Um, just... Okay. I think that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to hit it a little bit with the air gun. Ooh, I grabbed a little bit of wire on that, didn't I? Like I said, I'm a stickler for corners. Everything has to be uniform for me. Okay, and that's it. I'm actually not going to hit it with the heat gun. I'm just going to use the torch. Um, just to pop any bubbles that are on top. I need to invest in one of those little creme brulee torches so I don't have to keep using this big one. It always makes my husband nervous whenever I uh, bust that out. So... Um, that is, that's it. So thank you for watching. Um, let me get you down so you can kind of get a close up look of it. Okay. So here it is. Can I get a close up look of some of the lacing? It's really not a huge amount of lacing going on because I didn't put a lot of alcohol into it. We do have some cells, but that's okay. We do have more lacing up here. And that's it. Okay, well, thank you for watching and God bless.